Hi, I'm Dakota Wixom. I'm a product manager here at Topaz Labs. And today I'll walk you through the latest release of Gigapixel with version 7.2.0. There's been some really exciting updates to the application. Starting off with Low Res V2, our latest model. Uh, this model has received a quality update and in general it should be much sharper than ever before. There should be less artifacts as well and I think you'll really enjoy using this model. It'll be recommended by the auto mode as well which you can enable by clicking this button. Um, in situations where it would have recommended low res v1 it'll now recommend low res v2. If you still want access to low res v1 that's no problem you can just click this button and hit show legacy models and from there you'll be able to access low res v1 along with any of our other legacy models there's even more updates in this version of gigapixel for recovery mode we've made a couple of updates actually before you needed a really powerful gpu to run recovery and uh, that version of the recovery model will still give you the highest quality results it's now called the quality mode but we've also added the speed mode, and speed mode is about 20 times faster. And in fact, it should run on most machines. If you can run our other models, you should also be able to run the speed mode of, re of recovery. It, maybe it depends on the size of the image, uh, but you should, you should be able to run it. You can also see we've updated the preview uh, for the recovery mode. So now it's a borderless preview. It doesn't block uh, your workspace. It doesn't show up as a pop-up. So take a look. I think it looks really great. It's also super fast. So you can also preview multiple areas of the image. This is really useful if you wanna do some spot checks before committing to a run for the entire image, which I'm gonna go ahead and do now since this is the recovery speed mode. It should be pretty fast. And let's see, there we go. Much, much faster than before. This really would have taken several minutes if I was using recovery quality. You'll still see recovery quality is gonna give you better results. Uh, but definitely this model is more capable than some of our other models depending on the situation. So definitely, definitely check it out. I will also show you a couple of other updates. Going back to another version, another model here, I can now click on the compare tool, the compare mode. And in comparison view, if you've seen this before, you can select up to four models. You can also select three if you would like. I'll select four for this example. In the compare tool, once these render, you'll see that uh, now I have the ability to not only change the model settings, but actually select a new model. So without having to leave the mode, I can click this and it'll give me a drop down. So I can switch to, let's say, Art and CG if I wanted to check that out and compare these four different models. Let's say that I don't like the results of text and shapes. I'll just go ahead and get rid of that. Let me move my face here so you can see the button. I can also add a new model to this mode. So if I wanted to add, let's say, regular low res or maybe a different version, I could add high fidelity or maybe I'll just add art and CG back. I'll go ahead and do that. It'll pop us into that four up view. If I were to remove two of the models, it'll take us to side by side. And from here, I could narrow down into a single model. Let's say I like high fidelity the best. So I'll go ahead and click apply model and that'll bring me back. So really excited about this new version of the comparison mode. And the last update that I'll show you today is actually related to color. So in general, we've improved the way that we handle color spaces inside Gigapixel and you'll see really increased color accuracy across the board. But as a result of those changes, you can now import CMYK files. And in fact, you can export CMY, CMYK files as well. If you select TIFF as your file format for export, you'll see under the new color spaces option, CMYK will pop up. And there's other color spaces available to you as well. We'll increase this over time. But if you are one of our users who is printing uh, using your results from Gigapixel, this should save you the extra step of needing to convert to CMYK. We're super excited about the updates that have come to Gigapixel and there's so much more coming. So please do stay tuned.